Thank you, Sambal Su, and welcome to the Daily Nugget Show. I'm your host, Kacang Kevin, and the readings for the second Sunday of Advent are Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 to 10, Psalm 72, Romans chapter 15, verses 4 to 9, and the Gospel of Matthew chapter 3, verses 1 to 12. Isaiah, in the first reading, and the psalmist prophesy the coming of the Messiah. Isaiah 11, 1 to 2 says, There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Psalm 72, verses 1 to 2 says, Give the king thy justice, O God, and thy righteousness to the royal son. May he judge thy people with righteousness. Now in today's gospel, John the Baptist preaches in the wilderness saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew 3 verse 2. In Matthew 3 verse 4, the author tells us, Now John wore a garment of camel's hair and a leather girdle around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Why are these details necessary? Well, Malachi 4 5 tells us, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And concerning Elijah, in 2 Kings 1.8, we read, And they answered him, He was a hairy man, and girt with a girdle of leather about his loins. And he said, It is Elijah the Tishbite. So John the Baptist is fulfilling the role of Elijah, who prepared the way for Elisha. John is preparing the way for Jesus. And how is John the Baptist preparing the way for Jesus? Today's Gospel tells us it's through repentance. Father Anthony Cadaville in his homily on the Vatican Radio website says, The Greek word for repentance, teshuva in Hebrew and metanoia in Greek, means to change one's mind and heart, a change of direction or a U-turn. Repentance involves turning around, facing in a new direction, with a change of heart and a new commitment. Repentance is a daily experience that renews our baptism. Let's heed the words of St. John the Baptist in Matthew 3.8. Bear fruit that befits repentance. St. Paul echoes this in today's second reading to the Romans in chapter 15, verse 5. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus. In other words, live in peace. Catholic writer Thomas Merton once said, We are not at peace with others, because we are not at peace with ourselves. And we are not at peace with ourselves because we are not at peace with God. We can start with going to confession. Check your parish for the times of confession or the dedicated Advent confession timings in your archdiocese. Let's end with the prayer by Thomas Merton. My Lord God, I have no idea where I'm going. I do not see the road ahead of me. I cannot know for certain where it will end, nor do I really know myself. And the fact that I think I am following your will does not mean that I am actually doing so. But I believe that the desire to please you does in fact please you. I hope that I will never do anything apart from that desire. And I know that if I do this, you will lead me by the right road, though I may not know nothing about it. Therefore will I trust you always, though I may seem to be lost and in the shadow of death. I will not fear, for you are ever with me, and you will never leave me to face my perils alone. Amen. That's the end of today's show. Have the Daily Nugget Show in your email by subscribing for free at www.redeemedforworship.com. Have a blessed Advent. Using Powtoon.